Are you guys ready to tackle some more deep cleaning and decluttering? Let's get to it. This video was for, was actually filmed in two parts, two different days. The first day I'm gonna work on my entryway, which if you've been with me for a little while, you know that our garage door is broken. And since it's been broken, we've had to use the front door a lot more than we normally do. So this space was very, very, very messy. Not to mention the garland that I had hanging on our front door. It lost so many needles. There are needles everywhere. So I'm gonna start here by removing everything from the space so that we can give everything a good cleaning. We also had quite a bit of snow over the past few days. So this space has been getting a lot of action since the girls have been going in and out, in and out. I'm gonna use my ceiling fan cleaning gadget that I got at Lowe's to sweep around the tops of the walls and around the ceiling, just like I have been in the other rooms, knocking down any dust or cobwebs before I get started on anything lower. You would not believe the amount of dirt and cobwebs that just appear out of nowhere. Well, I guess it's not nowhere, but it sure does seem like it. I'm just gonna wipe this table down with Sprayway Glass Cleaner, my favorite cleaner ever. And I'm actually gonna wipe along the bottom of the table too. It's metal, but I just really wanted to give it a good wipe down. I'm also replacing the rug grippers that hold down the rug in front of the door. Tearing up the old ones was so satisfying. It was so easy and nice. Putting down the new ones, not so much. I had a terrible time trying to get the paper off the back, but this rug tape really does help keep your rugs from sliding. Y'all are not gonna believe how much dirt and debris that I swept up in this area. It's such a small area, but it was a ton of dirt. Now I'm gonna use my O-Cedar Spin Mop with Pine Sol to clean the floors and the baseboards. It smells so good. I forgot how much I love Pine Sol. It's been forever since I used it. Until here recently, that I've been using it since I've started scrubbing my floors down and it really does make my house smell so good. It takes me a few seconds here to get the table back just right, and it has to be just right because if it's too far one way or the other, it'll get hit with the door every time the door is open. I'm telling you, this is such a small space. Let me take a second here and introduce myself for if you're new. My name is Kayla. I'm a busy homeschooling mama of two. Hannah, who's 10, and Jana, who's 5. I'm happily married to my husband, Josh. We've been married for, whew, coming on 13 years, but we've been together the majority of my life. We have a very happy life. On this channel, I hope to give you cleaning tips and tricks and inspiration and motivation to get your house clean and organized, as well as decoration inspiration and motivation. I want to help you make the, your house the cozy place that it deserves to be and that you deserve to have.
Y'all, I love this rug tape, but this paper, it sure did give me a run. It took me forever to get a little piece just to pull up, but when I finally got it up, it was easy. Now I'm gonna start putting everything back where it goes and adding decorations. I was gonna decorate for winter and do this whole winter wonderland theme. However, I'm just, I just can't make it look like what I want it to look like in my mind. And so I have simplified a lot of what I had planned into what I'm doing now, just because I'm just ready for our house to feel clean. And here recently, we've been battling a lot of sickness and just all the things. And so it just is making me feel better and be in a better headspace to simplify things. How are you guys right now? Is your headspace crammed full of things and you're feeling like you need to simplify your life? Or are you good to go? Let me know in the comments below. If there's one thing I think every space needs to feel cozy, it is candles. Whether they're battery operated or real, I personally prefer real. I have some battery operated ones that I love, but they really will cozy up a space. Originally, I had planned on putting some eucalyptus or um, cedar-like branches in these jars but i ended up going with this lamb's ear that's frosted and i think it turned out perfectly it adds just the right small hint of green to the space livens it up also i'm thinking about putting some hooks underneath that holtz sign in the back what do you guys think about that just a little place to maybe hang jackets and stuff when people come in but i don't want it to be too crowded what do y'all think let me know in the comments below Okay, day two, we're gonna tackle the coffee bar. It's a hot mess. Like I told you guys earlier, we have gotten a ton of snow. When I say ton, I mean like six inches. That's a lot for our area. And this hot cocoa station has been a hit. The girls have had hot cocoa after hot cocoa. All, it gets all kinds of action. And there was trash everywhere. And when I say that I am ruthlessly decluttering, I mean it. Coffee cups are something that I love, and the people that know me know I love them, and I collect them, but I am going to downsize my collection and get rid of some of them in this video. Whew, it was hard on me. I'm gonna start here by clearing everything off and then I'm so embarrassed you guys I'm gonna actually move the coffee station out from the wall and sweep under it oh my gosh I'm so embarrassed to show you what it looks like under there I'm going to because I always promised that I would be truthful and honest if I was gonna do this that I was gonna actually show you all of the dirty nooks and crannies of my house and it is embarrassing it is so so bad this point right here when I was doing this video I was like oh my gosh I'm so embarrassed at how dirty the top of this coffee bar is and people are gonna actually see it and then I moved it 
You guys, when I moved it, oh my lord. there it is I couldn't hardly believe it oh it's so bad just wait till you see it all swept up in a pile I literally could not believe that I mean this area does get a lot of traffic and there is like it is lifted up off the ground this old dresser is and so I know how it all got under there but it just it just shocked me because I always clean over here I always am cleaning this coffee bar but I guess it never like truly gets underneath it now I'm gonna use my O cedar spin mop and pine saw mm, to mop this area and the baseboards if you don't have an O cedar spin mop you need one if only to mop your baseboards with it is so easy because the head is so flexible. You can put it up against the wall and push it down and scrub your baseboards effortlessly without having to get down on your hands and knees. I'm just gonna use Lysol all-purpose spray in the lemon scent to wipe everything down here and get it all good and clean. I had to shake out my rag because there were so many coffee grounds and hot cocoa powder that was just loose all over the top of this coffee bar. It was such a mess, but it feels so good to have it clean. Okay, so at the beginning of the year, when I did my um, resolution and 2023 recap, I talked to you guys about redoing my coffee bar. I am going to paint my coffee bar. As you can see, it is so stained up and so just dirty. And it does not matter how much I scrub it, it does not come clean. So I am definitely going to be redoing that soon. I have an idea for a color that I think I want to paint it and redo it in, but I'd like to see what you guys think. What color do you think I should paint this coffee bar? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so remember, ruthlessly decluttering, and I am doing a great job of it, let me tell you. Well, I feel like I am anyways. So inside of the drawers of the coffee bar is where we store all of our coffee cups. And I also keep like coffee and extra teas and honeys and that kind of thing in the bottom drawer. I'm going to go through each one of those drawers and declutter, get rid of some of my coffee cups that I don't really have a personal connection to or an attachment. And I'm going to downsize. I'm so proud of myself. This was extremely hard for me, but I think I did a pretty good job and it turns out pretty great. So I'm gonna start putting some of them back and I'm gonna try to organize them by like season and category. So like I'm gonna put all of my fall, Thanksgiving and Christmas mugs in one drawer, one area, if they'll all fit because I have quite a few. And then my more neutral season mugs, winter and that kind of thing in a drawer and my spring and summer kind of mugs in a drawer. 
or in with the winter neutral ones if they'll fit. I love coffee cups and mugs. I don't know why I always have. I prefer to drink all of my coffee out of a mug with a handle. I really, I take coffee to go with me to work sometimes, but I really, really prefer to drink it at home out of a coffee cup. Do you guys prefer to drink your coffee out of a coffee cup or do you drink it out of a travel mug or does it not matter to you? Let me know in the comments below. Now I'm just going to start putting things back and organizing my coffee cups that I want to set out for winter and a little bit of Valentine's Day here and there. Like I have one cute little cup that you'll see. It says, you're my person and it has a tiny red heart on it. I love that cup. And then I have a couple that like that white one. It's one that I bought this season. It's white, but it has like little trees etched in it and it looks like they're covered in snow. So if you've been with me very long at all, you know that in this house, we are coffee people. We constantly have coffee made. We are all the time drinking coffee. And I think that my coffee pot is on her last leg. I know I've said that before, but she is really starting to make some bad, bad noises. So I've been like mentally preparing myself to get a new one. What kind of coffee pot do you guys have? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Let me know in the comments below.
Now I'm gonna trade out my candy cane cocoa holder for my clear glass jar cocoa holder, which is the one that I use the majority of the year. I set it out and the girls can make themselves hot cocoa whenever they want and that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna use my funnel to fill that one up and then I'll have a cocoa station ready to go again. thought I would have some left over but it ended up this jar held all of the hot cocoa mix that I had left over in my cocoa container so I'll have to make sure and get some more before it runs out do you have a coffee bar or a coffee station in your house or a hot cocoa station in your house and if you do do you leave it out all year long or do you just leave it out in the winter let me know in the comments below. I'm also adding these little brown packets are sugar in the raw to a little container because you guys it is so so good in a cup of coffee or even hot tea it sweetens but it also doesn't dissolve all the way so you get like a nice little crunch at the end of your cup it is so good if you haven't tried it you definitely should Now I'm just gonna add some simple decorations to the coffee bar and then we'll be done. Okay, as promised, the most disgusting and embarrassing part did you guys see all of that? It takes me two dustpan trips to get all of that dirt out of the floor. Oh, I will never let it get like that again, for sure. Okay, one final mop and this space is all done. Thanks for hanging out with me today as I cleaned my coffee bar and got everything organized and went through my coffee cups. I really appreciate you following along as I make my new journey and my dreams come true. I appreciate you as a subscriber. If you are not subscribed, please turn on your notifications and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and God bless. Have a great weekend.